Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy. Thank you so much for watching and I'm here to do your reading for Pisces. This is a love and relationship reading for October 2017. I apologize. I know these readings are a little bit late, but I've been super busy. So we're finishing up on these October readings for you tonight. So this is a general love reading. Please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. And also check your moon and rising signs, as that can give you a lot of information as well. If you would like a personal reading, please contact me. I'll leave all of my information down below. So today, I'm using the Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue and the Morgan Greer Tarot deck. Okay, Pisces, I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards, and we're ready to get started. Okay, your overall energy for the month of October is temperance. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This is the Sagittarius card. Um, this card speaks of balance, okay? <clears throat> so you are seeking balance in your relationship, okay? Um, that can be emotional, that can be physical, that can be um, spiritual. This also, for me, talks about healing. So uh, this is a good energy to start out with. Um, underneath that, however, we do have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, so if you are dealing with the Sagittarius, this person um, may be feeling a little insecure at the moment and they may have been distant recently. Um, I'm feeling like they are withholding from you emotionally and physically right now. And with the Six of Wands in reverse, um, I'm feeling like for some of you, you're not feeling... You're not getting the attention you would like from this person. Um, you're not feeling appreciated. And there's a sense of sometimes you feel defeated. Okay? So we're going to see what's going on for you Pisces here. <clears throat> okay. Your first card you have is let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Clarifying that, you have the lovers. So this is a great card. Um, this is a soulmate card. So whoever you're dealing with, they are your soulmate. This can represent a Gemini. Um, but this talks about having a lot of chemistry. Now with the control issues, um, you may feel like you're attached to this person. Um... This could be like a very strong sexual attack, a sexual um, attachment. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of passion. You might be trying to get this person to commit to you in a more stable relationship, um, but there has not been any type of commitment yet. Okay, so this is just the beginning stages of love and romance. Okay, there's no. There's no commitment. Um, it's just very strong attraction, good energy, chemistry, passion, um, and definitely a soulmate energy. Okay. So your next card, Pisces, you have is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry, chemistry to keep this relationship going. Well, we already said there is a lot of chemistry with this lover's card here. So for me, this speaks of there is a lack of commitment. Okay. So clarifying that, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a good card. Um, this is the wish card. So this... Pisces for you is this is what you're wishing for in your relationship um, and for a lot of you that is to move on to the next level um, for a commitment something more stable okay 
Um, with the Nine of Cups, it's right before the Ten. So I feel like you're going in the right direction. Um, and if, if what you wish for is for the relationship to become more serious, and I think that's going to be able to, to happen, okay? Um, with the control issues, though, just... Just be careful not to um, try to be too controlling of your partner because that can sometimes um, push them away or scare them a little bit, perhaps intimidate them. So with letting go of control issues, this is just asking you to let things unfold slowly and naturally and... Um, just have a positive attitude about the whole situation. Okay. So, your next card, Pisces, you have is trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So again, um, don't try to manipulate your partner into um, forcing them into committing too soon or before they're ready. You just have to trust and have faith that um, if something's meant to be, then it will. Okay, and with the lover's card there, there is a there is a lot of um, chemistry and attraction and the soulmate energy. So if something's meant, if you if you two are meant to be together, then you truly will. Okay, so clarifying the trust card, we have the four of pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles, I'm feeling like this is the person you're dealing with. And this speaks of holding on too tightly to things. And for your partner, it could be their emotions. It could be uh, material things. Four is, it's a stable energy, but it's not, but it's stagnant. So it's not moving forward as fast as you would like. Okay. Um, and we had that King of Pentacles in reverse. So this person is kind of holding on to everything they have. They're not ready yet to give all of their Pentacles to you or give all of their love to you or their emotions. Okay. So they're a little bit insecure. Um, they're not as open as you are Pisces. Um, if you are dealing with a air sign or a fire sign, um, they're not as emotionally stable as you and not able to express their emotions as well as you are, okay? So with the Four of Pentacles, a lot of times this can be this, this is based on fear and fear of losing what you already have, okay? Now, this can be your energy as well, Pisces. It can go, you know, it can go either way. So take it however it applies to you. But one of you um, is afraid of losing something. And that's fear-based. That's That can be something that happened to you in the past. Maybe um, your partner trusted their their ex and you know gave everything to them and they lost it all so they're they have a fear of that happening again okay so with the four of pentacles um one of you is clinging on very tightly um and this could just be to being single and not wanting to commit okay so <clears throat> This card is just asking you to have some patience and some trust and faith that the situation will unfold in its own timing. Um, you can't rush things. You can't control other people. Pisces, of course, we know this. Um, you can only control yourself. And if you open up to this person, eventually I feel like they will open up to you and reciprocate your love. Okay? Okay. So this, this situation just calls for some patience, Pisces. Okay, there's your reading, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. If this resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I love to read all of your comments.
And if you would like a personal reading, uh, please contact me for that. And I wish you all a wonderful rest of the month.